Namaste and crystal blessings and welcome back. I just lit up some a beautiful Palo Santo. Just cleanse the cards. Smoking. Got uh, news talk. It's beautiful healing. Palo Santo. I just love the smell and how it calms me down. Very therapeutic. So we'll pick a card and because with my this good this is the card and this is my palm so you can see I cannot shuffle do <clears throat> I I love a large cards especially if it's beautiful artwork because for me it's like a mini gallery you know I can admire the artwork but for shuffling Shuffling, shuffling has well, it's as big as my palm, really. <laughs> so I have a problem. I can't do yeah the normal shuffle. So I probably can do it. This cuts are quite thick. Pluto recently changed to um, the sign of Aquarius. So if you are into astrology and the movement of the planets, you can read about them because, like I said, a lot been happening in March 2023 whoops okay I hope I don't <laughs> this is what happens story of my life because this is 48 cards so it's quite handful <laughs> Right handful it is. Okay, just one more. Don't fall now. We'll just pick one. Let's see which soulful woman. chakra for a little guidance for the days and weeks ahead okay we'll just pick one soul's journey card number 21 leaving from Soul opens me to the magic that exists when I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing. It's beautiful. It's card number 21. Soul's Journey. As a soul, I am connected to an abundant and infinite universe, one that is constantly giving birth to itself. Okay, candlely. Sun is. 
moved here. So likewise, my body's cycles are connected to the cycles of the earth, the moon and the cosmos. It's a perpetual dance of birth, death, and renewal. On my soul's journey, I am drawn to make meaning of my experiences as they unfold. Experiences that are joyful, as well as those that are more difficult, call to me. They ask me to become more fully awake, to fulfill my purpose, to live from my essence, from my soul. So living from soul opens me to the magic and abundance of the universe to which I am intimately connected. The depth and luminescence of my soul is tempered by virtues of humility, patience, compassion, and endurance. As I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing, I find that even the impossible begins to feel possible. That's exactly how I'm feeling now. It's like so impossible to move in any direction, you know. Like every time you open the door and there's still snow and still sub-zeros because I am not native to this land. I'm an Equatorian, so... I just miss the um, the warmth of the sun and not we have to wear four or five layers of clothes, you know, like an Eskimo, just to go to the post box and to wear uh, not wear just walk barefoot you know, on Mama Earth. I miss that. I miss that dearly. So at 52 years in this earth realm, I'm actually having existential crisis, serious existential crisis. Yeah, like, wow, I finally arrived and what's next? So if you're going through that, like I said, you're not alone. I'm going through that. So the card affirmation for this is living from soul opens me to the magic that exists when I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing. So whatever we decide, whatever that we are putting forward or anticipating or trying to manifest into our life, it's all in div divine timing. Trust the universe. Trust God, Source, and all our guides, our own soul, because it's in the divine timing. So I hope this little message for all of us, not only for me, this soul's journey. Living from soul opens me to the magic that exists when I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing. We just have to keep the faith. So I hope you enjoyed this beautiful deck, the sacred feminine, soulful woman. And from me, Nikianita, from Nikianita Cosmic Creative, wishing you all my love from this space to yours, wherever you are. In Lakesh, namaste.